Hi, I'm Steve Yates, and today I want to talk to you about Blackline Advanced for Photoshop. So let's get to it. Hi, today we're talking about Blackline Advanced for Photoshop. It'll work on CS3 through all the way through CC 2020 and above. Blackline originally was uh, developed as an alternative to tracing cars uh, for car show graphics and stuff like that for t-shirts, but has since been used for uh, laser engraving and etching, uh, plasma cutters for metal, all kind of stuff. And today I just want to give you a good demo on Blackline Advanced for Photoshop. So the first thing you'll notice in the actions once you load them is that uh, you've got a few options here. The very first things are to lighten the colors, just the colors, not the whole image and to help define the image so black line can find those lines. So I'll go ahead and click on light and colors. By the way, forgive the uh, big round cursor here. I'm doing this on a remoting from an iPad. Anyway, when I clicked on light and colors, you'll notice that the lights here went from orange to grayscale, and that'll help black line to define all the lines. Next thing I'll hit is define. And uh, what Define will do, as you can see, just kind of helps to sharpen it a little bit and, uh, and help Blackline locate the differences from one pixel to another. I'm going to go ahead and show you the three different versions of Blackline that came with it. Blackline Express, Blackline Advanced, and Blackline Advanced Shaded, uh, which will help you to do halftone shading and dither shading and anything like that. So the first one, Blackline Express. This is a quick black line. It just goes through and does it real quick. No options, just does it real quick. You to get in and out. And as you can see, you've got a very quick black line here. And it comes out um, pretty good. There's gonna be a little bit of editing involved unless you like that distress kind of feel to it. Um, so that's black line express. It's uh, pretty quick. The next one is black line advanced. Now black line advanced goes through the process of uh, the same exact process, but it leaves all the options open with an explanation of how to run them. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. Now one of the first things you'll notice is that Blackline will duplicate the image so you have it to work with all by itself. You're not constantly working on the same image, so you have error correcting here. Uh, and you can always hit the start over button as well. Um, from time to time, you'll get these control messages that will tell you how to use the controls themselves. In this particular case, we're going to use this radius to open up the lines a little bit so black line can find them a little bit easier. Go ahead and click enter. Uh, the next one will tell us you know, we need to adjust the threshold. Now in this particular case, I'm going to leave it all by itself. So there's the black line, very important. It's going to tell me that uh, whatever the resolution is, continue using that same resolution. So in this case, the input is 150 DPI, um, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna output it at 150 DPI. In the method itself, we've got uh, two options here. One is just to go 50% uh, threshold, and that's what we'll do right now. And there you go, you've got your black line. And I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, by the time you clean this up and trace it or whatever, um, it'll come out great. But a lot of people use it as is. I use it as is myself. Um, and so that's that one. I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to show you Blackline Advanced Shaded. It's Blackline Advanced Shaded. Go ahead and click on that. Here it opens a brand new uh, image, like I told you before goes through the same process. The difference is on this one, it's gonna leave you with uh, shaded halftones of your choice. Either dots or lines or dither dots or whatever it is that you wanna use. And again, the control messages to tell you uh, how to control it. I usually push this up a little bit depending on the image and the size of the image. By the way, 1500 to 2000 pixels wide or tall is a good way to start. Um, and make sure that your image is fairly clean. Uh, dirty images, Blackline will find all the dirt in the images. So if you can get it as clean as possible, a lot of times when it comes to cars, I'll do gray cars or silver cars because uh, they seem to come out uh, the best for body lines and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click OK again with the threshold. 
I'm going to say okay on that. And now it's going to come through and ask us about the halftone itself. Now first it's going to tell us that it's looking for anything that can be halftoned. So when you see all this gray in here, that's what's going to be halftoned. So I'm going to pull back on the brightness a little bit here so you can get more of it and, sh and I'll show you a little bit more of the halftone. We're going to go ahead and say OK. And then we're going to be faced with all these functions that we can look at when we actually do the thing. I'm going to choose halftone screen here. And now we have a choice on uh, frequency, angle, and line. Uh, as a screen printer, I usually use 22 and a half. You can use whatever angle you like. Um, and in this case, I usually like to use, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lines. I use ellipses for, um, for no rip half tones. Um, but uh, for effects, I do a lot of different things. We're gonna go ahead and leave it. Okay, so it's at 20 lines per inch, 22.5 degrees. Go ahead and run it. It's going through the process. It's gonna give us the half tone. And it's all done. From this angle, it looks like a grayscale half tone. However, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see. This is a line art with lines. I'll back up a little bit so you can see the whole image a little bit better. That's a little cleaner. So you can see that it gives you a nice um, half tone in a line here. You can do the same thing in dots and everything else. In fact, I'll show you one with dots real quick. I'll say no to that. There's the image again. Black line advanced shaded. Going through the process of setting it up. There, okay. Okay, again, the control messages. Um, again, it's gonna go through and help you to decipher these lines. Find the lines that you wanna um, you know, find, like in this case. I'm gonna open this up a little bit this time. We're gonna go ahead and say okay on that. I'm gonna adjust the threshold, we're gonna leave it the same. And in this particular case, we're gonna do a dot, just so I can show you the um, the dots on this and again we're going to back up the brightness a little bit so we can actually see the dots. And again we're going to choose half tone and this time we're going to say dots round. So we said that it's going to go through the process and this time we're going to have basically the same image but rather than the lines we're going to have round dots like you can see right here. And I'm going to back this up a little bit so we can see it a little cleaner. And that's it. It's a pretty handy tool if you're a screen printer. This is a huge tool, a huge, huge alternative to uh, drawing cars for car shirts. Um, if you use this without the half toning, this is a great tool for uh, laser engraving, for vinyl cutting, plasma and metal cutting. Uh, anything that can use a black and white image. These are very traceable and, uh, and auto traceable. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, I'm Steve Yates. I hope you like this demo. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. And uh, if you hit that notification button, you'll get notified when new videos come up. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.